Hey guys, Ponce here, and today I just want to talk about the Dark Souls 3 DLC number 2 announcement plus release trailer. Um, it is going to be called The Ringed City, and for those of you who want to see the trailer itself, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, mind you, it's going to probably contain spoilery stuff depending on your definition of spoiler, but, you know, it, it, it's a announcement trailer. It's going to contain stuff. I just know Dark Souls people are just really picky about what's a spoiler and what's not, so uh, may want to watch that at your own discretion there. Uh, in any case, has me pretty excited. I've always really, really liked Dark Souls. Playing Dark Souls 3 on stream was probably one of my most enjoyable experiences streaming. Like, I basically streamed it um, for pretty much a month straight. It's the only time I've ever done uh, a game that long that wasn't League of Legends on stream. So, uh, they were good times, very fond memories going back then. Um, now, you might note that I have Dark Souls 3, uh, the first DLC playing in the background, which had its good moments. For example, right now I'm on the um, one of the boss fights, and it was this part here is probably a highlight of the DLC. This is really fun and great and very atmospheric. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, a lot of the rest of the DLC was pretty lacking. It was really short. Um, I, I've done a review on it in the past, so I don't want to like retread that territory too much. But generally speaking, while I did enjoy it, I expect a lot from the Dark Souls series. So it was a pretty big disappointment in that sense. Even though, ultimately, this was worth my time, this DLC here. So anyway, I'm hoping uh, the next one will be better. Allegedly, there'll be more content to the next DLC. That's just kind of what I've been hearing. Although I haven't confirmed that myself. Uh, and, you know, I haven't looked up any specific sources, but again, I've, I've been hearing that this is supposed to be larger. Um, and I would expect it, because honestly, like another DLC like the last one, I think people are just going to get pretty fed up here. And I think uh, From Software wants to go in, you know, developing whatever their next game is, because they're not doing Dark Souls again, at least not for a long while anyway. So they probably want to build up some, you know, goodwill with the, the fans and whatnot. Uh, uh, as the last little bit of Dark Souls, which we're probably going to see for a while. Uh, so in any case, look forward to playing that. I'll probably have videos up for it. I'll be streaming, uh, whatnot, the usual things that I do. You know, I do speed run this game. I do challenge runs and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, because I, I put a lot of hours into this uh, this whole series here. Should be interesting. Uh, aside from that, there's also a game coming out soon called Nyo, which is basically like Japan Souls. Um... Very, very Dark Souls-like series, and, and I'm thinking about checking that out. I'll probably have a video talking about that more in, in the future, seeing, trying to maybe gauge interest on that and if it's worth buying or not. But uh, in any case, we're here talking about Dark Souls uh, 3 DLC, The Ringed City. Uh, should be interesting, and again, if you don't mind, you know, very loose definitions of spoilers, uh, there is a link in the description below showing you the... Um, the release trailer that yeah, from software is released in any case see you guys around uh thanks for watching and if you're wondering what happened in the end of this video i killed the boss good goodbye